Good evening. Teacher, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good, excellent. Just came back home. Oh, you're, you returned uh, today. Yeah, I returned today from the beach. And uh, then by, in the afternoon, I went to, <laughs> to Multiplaza. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I bought I bought some things. Yeah, like the Black Friday. Oh, what was it? Was it crowded? Yeah, a lot, teacher. It, I don't know what to expect to for tomorrow. Well, I don't have any plans to go and make a make a buys, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to drive tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be. Um, crazy you know it's black friday um uh the government apparently recently paid so there will be a lot of movement government recently paid let me see the date 26 yeah the government i think paid on 23rd if okay. i'm not if i'm not mistaken mistaken right right yeah well i got paid until uh today because i teach at the military school and uh we got paid today but oh do you teach on the military school on yeah. the avenida Jerusalem? oh yeah okay. yeah yeah so we got paid today but i understand that the the government directly they got paid like two days ago i think i work for an autonomous SEPA, Comisión Ejecutiva Portal Autónoma, and uh, they paid us twice a, a month. Like... Every two weeks? Yeah, every two weeks. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, every two weeks is much better than once yes. a month. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I do some um, administrative work in a call center and... Uh, the agents, they receive money every week, every week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because they, uh, the, the call center that I work for, you know, they have sales account. So every, uh -huh. every 15 days, they receive their salary. And every Friday, they receive uh, their commission. The bonus? The, okay. Yeah. My yeah. brother is a supervisor on the call center. He's working from uh, from home right now. He's working. Oh. And yeah, he got paid every uh, Friday now and a Friday they get paid. Every, every, every other Friday. Exactly. Every other Friday. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's like supervisor and he's all the time speaking, all the time. Right. Yeah. Is, is he doing sales or customer mm -hmm. service? It's customer service for an account like a Spotify. I don't remember the name. It's a, it's a kind of Spotify, but it only works in your car, in the radio car. Okay. I it's don't the, remember. Yeah, the name. it's no, I don't remember the name too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like yeah, uh, the more often you receive money, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marie. If we were my decision, I'll, I'll receive money every day. Same, teacher, same. Yep. I need money every day. Exactly. All right. William. Hey, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Same. Good, good. I'm doing okay. Uh, that picture, uh, the, your profile picture is in the National Palace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, when when did you go there? The pink room, I, I think. Yeah, the pink room, yes. Yeah. When did you go there? When did you take oh my the, God. Uh, the last year? Last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the last year. It's a nice place to visit. Oh really? Yeah. 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 Have you visited that place, Julia? Have you been to the no, National never. Palace? Never. Where is that located? The national uh, in the in the downtown. Yeah, in yeah. front of cathedral. No, I never. No, I, I've been there. In, I've been there in front of of the palace, but I never got in. Go inside. Go you inside. Will go. You will go. Yeah, okay. it's it's worth it. It's worth. It's a nice place. Beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice picture. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, and, and and there are um, 
you know, in the past, you will pay for the entrance and you will go alone to visit all the places. Now it's different. Now they have uh, guides, they have tourist guides. So you pay and they take you. So the trip is faster. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Sounds but, nice. Yeah, but it's a nice place. A nice place. Yeah, it is. All right, okay. good. The gardens in, in, Oscar, the gardens in are really nice. What is it, Williams? The gardens into the, the place. Right. The, right. The trees, oh, my God. Yeah, it's a very nice place. Very yeah. nice place. Yes. Okay, Julia, you were saying something? Oh, yes, teacher. Oscar uh, sent his apologies because he's a uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to be here. Well, tell them, tell him to save us some turkey. <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Cecilia, how are you? Okay, fine, teacher. Thanks. Very good. Jose Aquino. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good. Nice. Jose Thank Ramos. You. Good, very good. Jose Ramos, how are you today? I can't complain, teacher. Excellent, excellent. That's the attitude. All right. So welcome back. What's today's date? November 26, 2020. Yes, November 26, 2020. That is correct. Um, what is the celebration today? Thanksgiving. 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 Exactly. Thanksgiving. Um, what do you know about Thanksgiving? I, 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 I know is when I <laughs> eat uh, turkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And, and, and what is the reason you eat turkey? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the name the name of the holiday is literal, you know, because you're saying thank you, God, you know, right? Does anybody know the story of Thanksgiving? No, no. no. Is something related with Columbus? Um, actually, it's related with the British, not with the Spanish. Okay, so sorry. Yeah. No idea. Okay. Some immigrants came to Indians' place and they were starving, and some of the natives' place gave them food, something it's, like that. I... Yes, yes. Which immigrants, Jose? What country were they coming from? England. Yes, exactly. So, uh, when the British came to the United States, what is now the United States, who was there? Who was there? Yeah, who was there in the American continent when the British arrived? What people were there? Native. Natives. Uh, natives. natives, yes. What natives? Indian. Japanese natives, Salvadorian natives, what natives? American natives. Yes. American natives. Yeah, American natives, right. Um, so how did the British come to the American continent? How did they travel? I suppose by ship. Yes. They traveled by water. They traveled by ship, by boat. Um, the trip was very long and difficult, long and difficult. Many of the British that were trying to arrive in the US did not make it. They died in the middle of the ocean, right? And um, have you heard about the weather they found when they arrived to American continent? It was cold. It was very cold. It was extremely cold. So the ones that made the voyage, the ones that were able to finish the trip, uh, many of them, they died when they arrived in the U.S. because the weather was like 
amazingly cold, right? So, um, um, so the natives, they, they received the, the British and they were friendly with them. So they decided to have the Thanksgiving holiday saying, thank you God for having us alive, right? And what animal do people eat for Thanksgiving? Turkey. Turkey, Turkey. Turkey. yes. Turkey, gallina india. <laughs> <laughs> right, so who knows, who knows? Right, so at the beginning of the, of the story, when they gather, they used to eat three animals. They used to eat goose, turkey, and duck. 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 Duck, goose, and turkey. What is the first one? Duck. The second? Goose. goose. What is goose? What is goose, people? Ganso. Um, Ganso, right, right. And what is duck? Pato. Yeah. But nowadays, you know, uh, times change, and uh, now they only eat turkey. They don't eat duck, they don't eat goose, right? Watch football. Right, yeah. There is uh, uh, the finals of, of, of football, I think, are, are, are held. So, and it's a very important uh, holiday in the U.S. What is the date for Thanksgiving? The There's no week. date exactly. It's the last, the last Thursday. Exactly. The last Thursday of every month. Exactly. It's the last Thursday of November. Yes. When is Mother's Day in the U.S.? The second, the, second, the second May. The second what? Last week, the second week of May. Okay, when you say the second week, what day exactly, Cecilia? The Monday. Second Sunday. Sunday. The Sunday. second Sunday, mm -hmm. right. So remember that holidays in the United States usually they don't have a specific date. They say the mm -hmm. second Monday, uh, the last Thursday, the first Wednesday. So they have days, but not dates. Yes. Exactly. All right. The word wisely. What is it? Wisely. What is wisely? Wise. wise. Uh-huh. Why do you say that? Because they... Just read the world always the same day. Uh huh. Instead of in the Salvador, there is a uh, some holidays we don't re don't rest because it's a uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Right. A day always. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So they were thinking about like, okay, let's do it on a Thursday so people have long weekends, right? Maybe, maybe. All right, any questions or comments about Thanksgiving? You know, after Christmas, Thanksgiving is the most important holiday in the US. After Thanksgiving, the Black Friday is coming. Right, when is it Black Friday, Jose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> When is it Black sure. Friday, people? Tomorrow, no? Tomorrow. 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 Is the last Friday of November? <laughs> the last Friday of November, the last exactly. Friday of November. Yeah, yeah. And in the US, you know, Black Friday is really Black Friday. They uh they have good yes. good specials. Good specials. Yeah. So that's that's how it is. All right. Yeah, I told Oscar to, to buy for me some things. <laughs> right. I mean. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they are good prices. Really, really good prices. Exactly. Yeah, I could, I could. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments about uh, um, Black Friday or, or Thanksgiving? About the immigrants from England. Okay. 
they they were arrived. Which they they arrived in 1620. What place? Oh, where, where is they? Um, they arrived in New York, in the East Coast. In the East Coast, remember that uh, the East Coast, the North part, that's where the original 13 colonies were founded. New York, New Jersey, um, the Carolinas, uh, the Dakotas. So there were 13 colonies in, in that time. So they arrived in the East Coast. Yes. I hear, I, I, I'm not sure I heard this uh, I state that they call it New England in, in USA? No. Yeah, yeah, New England, Massachusetts, uh, Vermont, all those uh, states that are near the Canadian border, that was the original uh, 13 colonies, right? How many colors does the American flag have? Red. Green. Red. Blue and white and white and the stars and the stars. White. Okay, what is the meaning of the stars? The uh, state. They, they, every, state. every state. The state. Exactly. The state. Every the state. state. So every star represents a state. There are three colors. What does color white uh, represent? Peace? Peace or freedom? Peace or freedom. Yeah, peace and freedom. What about color red? Blood. 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 Uh, in, in representation of courage. Okay. In representation of courage. And then you have blue. What does blue represent? The sky. Yep. Exactly. Um, how do you say barras in English? I, I, I didn't hear what about blue. Bars. Okay, bars. Okay, let, let me show you something. Let's see this here. Remember, when you're in the process of learning a language, it's not only the language, it's also culture. Can you see my, uh, can you see the flag? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so we have three colors. White represents uh, freedom and peace. Color red represents courage. And uh, color blue represents uh, the sky or heaven, whichever you want to. How many stripes does the flag have? How many stripes? Seven. Seven. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen oh, stripes. <laughs> Thirteen stripes. If you count, okay. you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What does why the number thirteen? The first colony? Exactly. The first colonies. Exactly. So when they adopted this flag, they were thinking about every star uh, represents a, a state. Colored red represents courage. White represents uh, freedom or peace. And blue represents uh, the sky or heaven. The, the two names are, are accepted. Okay, and 13 stripes because that was the name, uh, the number of the original 13 colonies. Okay, uh, any questions or comments about Thanksgiving? Um, currently, the United States government protects a lot uh, to that colonies. I went to like five, six years ago, I went to Miami. Okay. And I went to a place like, uh, well, well, it's not a place. Yeah, it was a place exactly like Hard Rock Cafe, Seminole. Uh -huh. Seminole was a native colony. And they are like, I don't know, it's that kind of people that attracts you because they are so tall, like long haired and straight and so um, tall, very, very, very tall. 
like, I don't know, the woman. Uh, Native the, the Americans. Women look like, like Pocahontas. Really? Beautiful. Yeah. And they and they live in a, in, a, in in their own uh, their reservations. Own town. Yeah, reservations. And the the government like I think the government pay them monthly or give a big amount of, of money. Right. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Have you guys heard about the Dakota pipeline? Hmm. Let me see. It's a colony, Dakota, Cherokees, um, Navajos, Navajos. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Cherokees, the Navajos. Uh, you see that the, uh, this right here, do you see the map? You see color red? Yeah. yeah, yes. That is a pipeline. Look. Really? And it crosses four states. It crosses four states. It starts in, in Montana, I think, and it finishes in, in Illinois, right? And uh, the Native Americans, they are not happy with this project because having this pipeline working, uh, it will cross rivers. You know, they analyze, they plan everything, but accidents always happen. And they said, what if? something happens with this pipeline. Are we gonna lose animals? You will contaminate our waters. I mean, so many things, right? Okay, any well, question? How does that pipeline, pipeline? Pipeline means tuberia. But what kind of gases? Oil, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know, one of the tribes that Julia was mentioning, they had a prophecy and they, uh, the prophecy was about a black snake. The black snake was going to come and it was going to destroy the Native Americans. And now with this pipeline, they're saying, okay, so this is the prophecy. So they're comparing the pipeline with a black snake that will destroy the, the natives. Yeah. So anyways. Any other questions or comments about uh, uh, Thanksgiving? Oh, no? Teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. So um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday concerning the TOEFL exam? Remember, we have classes tomorrow. Don't disappear. Some people no. are coming to class like once a month. Tomorrow Black Friday, teacher. Or <laughs> twice a week. Don't disappear. Uh, oh, tomorrow is Black Friday, huh? <laughs> you need to connect from there. I'm shopping here, but I'm interested in the class. So anyway. Okay, so um, we mentioned reading. What did we mention about reading in the TOEFL exam? I don't know. I have a question. Every 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 module of TOEFL, we we need to do an exam after the three models. Okay. After the, now, remember that this is only the preparation. Um, the exam you take it on your own. So you said I'm gonna take uh, the exam to see what it's like. And like I was telling you before, you know, like if you apply for a scholarship or if you want to apply for a better position in your company, some of the requirements they, they ask you for is to show the TOEFL exam. Because maybe your supervisor, your boss, the manager doesn't speak Spanish. So they want to make sure that the language is not going to be a problem. So this is only the preparation. You decide when you take the exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. No. Okay. So uh, we mentioned yesterday we were talking about reading. What did we say about reading? We mentioned the word inference. Uh huh. What is the meaning of inference? Mm -hmm. 
it's like a confusion about the exactly other real exactly when we're talking about inference we're talking about the conclusion or the deductions um, that a person may have after you have read something so when you take the exam you will find reading material um, and they will ask you two type of questions do you remember the two type of questions they will ask you rhetorical and I don't remember the other one. Okay, yes. If, if we're talking about um, uh, reading comprehension, yes, they will ask you that. But also they will ask you about vocabulary. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And, and what was the tip that I gave you when you were doing the questions related with vocabulary? Um, Do you remember the meaning of the word cognate? Um, yeah. The words yes. that are similar in both languages? Exactly. It's a word that is similar or sometimes exactly the same, like doctor, hospital, mm -hmm. um, that are similar in the both languages, or sometimes they are the same. So what did I mention about doing the, the questions about vocabulary first? Mm. So I said, uh, you have two types of questions. The ones that are related with the reading comprehension, that means that you must read the information. And then there are other questions when they said, uh, and the little boy went to a hospital. And they said, the word hospital in line 25 refers to a clinic, uh, a school, a park, or a bank. What is the correct answer? A clinic. A clinic. So for you to answer that question, you don't need to read. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. When you do the reading section, your priority has to be the questions that are related with vocabulary because usually the words uh the questions related with vocabulary are cognates so impressively uh urgently words that we have in spanish words that you are able to answer without reading the the uh the article without reading the material okay all right Be sure. yes and there, there is something like false cognate or something like that. Yes. That can be confusing because yes. sometimes you can misunderstand the meaning of the two words, right? E exactly. That's a very good point that Irenia is mentioning. Let me write it in the chat. Um, we have true cognates. What is a true cognate? Anybody? Nate. What is a true cognate? Maybe the one that shares the same meaning. Exactly. Uh, hospital, human. Can you give me examples of other words that are very similar in Spanish and English? Person. Person. What else? Vital. Huh? Vital. Vital, yes. What else? Institution. Institution, what else? Mm. Organized. Organized. Okay. Hospital, human, person, vital, institution, and organized. If they ask you a question related with these words, you would be able to understand the question and answer the question because we have this vocabulary in Spanish. So when you see this vocabulary, you will say uh, the word vital in line 21 makes reference to uh, not important, important, organized, mm -hmm. expensive. What is the right answer? Important. Important. Exactly. So you are able to answer these questions without reading anything. 
because we have cognates in the exam. Do I make myself clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, can you give me examples of false cognates? The one that I always remember is casualty. Okay. Casualty. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, exit, for example. Okay. Exit. Exactly. Exit. Oh, okay. Uh huh. One more. Actually. Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. Actually. All right. So, uh, what Irenia is mentioning is really, really important. Let's see this here. Actually. All right. What is casualty? It's not casualidad. What is mm -hmm. casualty? I don't know. It's, for example, the, the quantity of victims, for example, of an accident. How many people died in an exactly. accident, for example. Exactly. So, how many casualties did the Salvadorian Civil War leave? A lot, but I don't know the, the number. number? Mm -hmm. Anybody knows how many casualties the Civil War in El Salvador left? No. 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. 80,000 people died. The ones that were counted by the other ones that didn't appear? Yeah, the ones that are still missing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, embarrassed does not mean embarazada. What's the meaning of embarrassed? Ever gone south. Exactly. Exit is not exito. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, and actually it's not actualmente. So these are examples of false cognates. So you can see, oh, the war embarrassed in line 24 means, uh, and they give you options. So you have to be careful with, with false cognates too. Yes. And what are the, yes? The word terrific is a false cognate. Yes. Or, or excited could be. Uh, terrific. And excited? A any what? Excited. Excited. Excited, yes. Um, excited can be excitado, but people usually use it when they want to say emocional. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I saw my best friend after 10 years. I was very excited. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, now what are the benefits of reading? Anybody? You learn about benefits vocabulary. of reading. Yeah, vocabulary. What else? Milma? What is it? You can know more yeah. about grammatic. Sure, yeah, grammar. You improve your grammar. Mm -hmm. What else? Comprehension. Yeah, comprehension, yes. So you improve your vocabulary, you improve your grammar, you improve comprehension, fluency, accuracy, and so many. Any questions or comments about reading before you start doing the speaking about reading? No. No? Okay, so let's do this. Let me share um, the document. We have about 20 more minutes. My goodness, where is that document? Oh, right here. Uh -huh. Give me a second, it's loading. So I guess I need a new computer because he here in the office we have, uh, I think uh, 40 megabytes of, of speed and, and still taking a little bit to, to upload. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Can somebody please take a, 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 a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp chat? Please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me create the rooms. Da, da, da. Create rooms. And here we go. Let me get some water real quick. When you hear the word reading, I imagine that is uh, about book or about a text, a text, 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 yes, text. About a text. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, in my case, I just when I hear the word, the word reading. I feel sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel tired. <laughs> tired. Okay. <laughs> and you, Cecilia? <laughs> I, me too, I sleepy. <laughs> or oh, oh, books, yes. Ah, okay. But the book, the book that I, I read more of one time is uh, Cien años de soledad in Spanish, yes. Okay, I haven't read that one. Yes, but, yes, but now I try, uh, I am trying to finish to read a book called, let me see, I think uh, it's called, uh, yeah, it's, it's called Totally Disgusting. Totally Disgusting. Yes. Is it in English? Yes, it's in English. Good. Okay. The last book that I read in English was like one month ago, and the name is Someone We Know. It's something about uh, murder and the investigation and all the the situations around the the dead woman, and that that's interesting. I like reading too. Okay, I have yeah. other book in English uh, of the Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Yes. What's the yes, name? I have. It's about the Tom Sawyer. Oh. Ah, the adventures. Yes, the the, the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Uh, yes. I read that one when I was in my second year, I think, of the university. And we played, we per, no, we performed some scenes of that one. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. it was very fun. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Good. Mark Twain. He was a really good writer. Yeah. It's the same, the same writer for the shack, or something like that. Mm, I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember. Yeah. May. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, maybe some cuentos? Tales? Tales. 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 Ah, tales. yes, tales. Uh -huh. tales. Tales. Yeah, tales. 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 Okay. Tales. Tales. Yeah, tales. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you get out of?
um, where is, is do who get out oh the teacher is there teacher yes teacher. <laughs> we are discussing about the, the 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 meaning of get out in this context of, of reading uh -huh. we are guessing that maybe get out is the things that we don't like to read okay what do you get out of reading uh what benefits do you receive from reading oh my god it's the opposite i was saying yeah the get out get out it's like okay uh, imagine someone comes here and i said oh please get out i'm busy salte so que le saca usted la lectura? what benefits do you get oh my god totally the, the opposite i yeah. was thinking believe me yeah <laughs> yeah so what are the benefits of reading Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is memories of reading, of reading. What are you? What are your earliest, earliest memories of reading? Do you understand? <laughs> memories. Let me see. Oh, what are your earliest memories? I know. <clears throat> so I don't have memories. Is no fast. No fast. Tell us, teacher. Tell us. No, like like if you were to ask me that question, I would remember when uh, when I was like seven, eight years old. Uh, my family used to buy the newspaper, you know, and I would read the newspaper in the door of my house, you know. Huh. So th that's like my earliest memory of of reading something that I have. Ah, okay. That is an example. example. Yeah, okay. yeah. So okay. like, what is the youngest you can go back and think about you reading something? That's, that's what the question is, is about. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes. Gracias por aclararnos. ¿Cómo se dice aclararnos? To clear. Yeah, clarify. Thanks for clarifying. Okay, thanks for
I did that there are a, a, a yellow butterfly, and I imagine the, the, the butterfly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that is what I was saying, that in the book, in they the book. let you imagine all the situations, and also they give more detail. Exactly. More, um, I don't know, but it is interesting. It's more interesting for me reading a book than watching the movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's better to read. Yes, because for example, my my husband is Harry Potter fan, so oh. uh, he has told me that he has uh, watched the movies, but later he started reading the book, and the book have a lot of details that are very yes. necessary for the movies, but in the movies they don't present those details so. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to understand the movie because they don't give you all the the details. details. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. I I hear something that I haven't never read before the Harry Potter's books, mm -hmm. but I think it's is is the best way to read the the books. Uh huh. Because when when he is watching the movie, sometimes he tells me, um, you know what, here, uh, this and this and this happens, and that's why this character does this. And I was like, hey, why they don't put those details in the in the movies? Because yes. all those details are like the main thing to understand that. I don't know. Yes. That's the way to do it. I can't understand, yeah. William, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> hey, have yeah. you ever cried while you're reading a book? Huh. Um, yeah. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. I, I cry sometimes with... Uh, okay, I, I told you I, I love like that. Huh? <laughs> I, I told you I love books where I refer uh, so uh, history. So in these cases, sometimes okay. I'm crying about. So, for example, when I read about the uh, history of um, judios, how to say in English? Yeah. Jewish. 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 The Jewish, Jewish history Jewish. about the Holocaust, or yeah, yeah. It, it really sad. So. Uh, you wish thanks yeah so uh, it, it, it's really sad right? <laughs> so uh, in this case i i i, I cry reading a book what books do you think should be required reading oh my god um i um, i have a lot <laughs> Just one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Um, how do you? How was the the books that you that you recommend for girls? Tulipanes in December? No. Yeah, for girls. Um, yeah. Okay, you you can start with with the principle. A, a reward, the recompensa. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Uh, yeah. The next one is relation. Uh, related with this question, right? Because uh, it's a newspaper, magazine, and other things that you prefer for the, for the oh, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my yeah, case, I really prefer good. the internet. <laughs> online. <laughs> online is better. Yeah, I don't like newspapers. Uh, I like to, to check the all the news, in, for example, in Facebook. It's easier. Uh, okay. In my it's a good idea, Julia. Okay, the next one is, have you ever cried uh, while reading a book? Yes. Have you? One book. Yeah. <laughs> eh, I don't know in, in English how to say it. Como agua para chocolate. It's a oh. beautiful. I love, it's like one of my favorite books. Yeah. Como agua para chocolate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember uh, my uncle, he bought that book many years ago, 
and I never read it myself, but uh, my mother also says that it's a nice book. Yeah, and yeah, another one book, like, it's beautiful, El Amor en los Tiempos del Cólera, from Garcia Marquez. Okay. Yeah, beautiful book. All right. Yeah. It's like, it makes you feel like melancholic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you, Irene? In my case, uh, I like uh, one book. It, the, the name is, um, oh my God. Uh, every, every day is, is Friday. Every day is Friday. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, it's a, um, it's a, a gospel book. Uh -huh. A gospel book. But for me, it's a, a book about personal growth. Okay. Uh -huh. Personal growth. Um, I have a, a good experience with, uh, with this book. Good, very good. Uh -huh. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Where is the rest of the class? Oh, they're coming back. All right, um, any questions or comments about what you guys were discussing? Mm. Um, I do recommend that when you are working in the platform, um, the first unit, there is a lot of reading. So you will have to, uh, before you start doing the reading, I suggest that you prepare yourself a dictionary uh, because you will find vocabulary that maybe is new for you. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, so reading takes time. Reading takes time. So after you read, you have to answer the questions. And if you don't understand the question or you don't know what the answer is, you have to go back to the reading and read again. So. It will take some time from you. Yeah. Any questions okay, or teacher. comments? Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, or my comment is uh, that we need real, real, real. Exactly. <laughs> because that's it, the, uh, the, the main problem that we have, uh, not all. <laughs> uh, because uh, if we talk in group, uh, it's difficult to talk because uh, we, we don't have uh, a lot of vocabulary to talk with uh, with, with other, so it's necessary, and <laughs> we need more vocabulary to talk. Right, right, yeah. yes. Okay. So, um, any other questions or comments? No. No. So, thank you very much for your time. Remember, we have classes tomorrow. We have classes tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be here, okay. teacher. Thank you. Thank All right. You. See you later. You, Have a good night. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.